Des Moines, Iowa. You know, the beer guys have been sampling beer here in Des Moines uh, for a little while. And uh, we are now at a new stop called the Confluence Brewing Company. Uh, it says here that they've been around since 2013, but the guy that owns this place, he's been doing it, he's been dabbling with this thing since 1995. Um, he really fell in love with the craft brewing industry and everything about it. And his first beer, way back when, that he brewed in his home brewing was an Oktoberfest. I sure hope they have that here because We've seen great reviews on the Confluence Brewing Company, and uh, we're about to see what they have here in Des Moines, Iowa. Come on, let's go see. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's a restaurant vibe. Uh -uh. <laughs> this is a... Oh, oh smell that. Oh, we yeah. We are in a brewery. Oh, oh wow. I love this. This is awesome. I love this. Oh, Look this is this. great. Oh, God, that smell Look is awesome. This. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man, I'm getting nailed right now by the malts and hops. The smell, this. Oh, God, I'm in heaven. Yeah, this. I gotta pinch myself to see down the line. This smells great. Oh, jeez. Wow. Confluence Brewing Company, Des Moines, Iowa. And I couldn't be more impressed just walking in. Not many breweries have the brew house at the front where you walk through it to get to buy the beers. I love that because, man, it just draws you in. And they were brewing today. So the whole facility has that smell going on. If you've ever been to a brewery where they're brewing, you know what I'm talking about. But this place is big. It is bright. It is colorful. Their merch is colorful. Love the tie-dye stuff they got going on. The hoodies, the t-shirts, great colors, great selection, great quality probably going to be walking home with one of those t-shirts and it's not just that you can walk out of here with look at all the beer to go they got i mean they have a lot of beer that you can take directly home from here and i imagine that if you are local to iowa your high v's have all the confluence brew in stock for you that you would need so inside's big but this outside is just as big too. I mean, you know, they got this little deck up here, this little small deck that, you know, you could sit on if you wanted to right there. But hey, down here, man, it's just large and spacious. And you can see they got, you know, the high heaters, but it is all just picnic table style, all spread out so that you can come out here, have a conversation with people maybe, meet some new people, have great beers, and I couldn't be more excited because all the other breweries we've been to so far have been really restaurant-y, and no one's seating you here, <laughs> no food, great, great beer, I hope. So we got a good flight, let's go. Confluence Brewing. Fall in love with Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. I am falling in love with Des Moines beer. Wow, Man. so this is the first true brewery brewery. There right? ain't no food in there. Ain't no food. You fucking walk in and it's just. <laughs> it's a brewery, man. Yeah. I mean, you smell it. You feel it. It's it's the whole vibe. Um, I good. mean, this is, this is as good of an experience I've ever had coming to a craft brewery anywhere. It's done right here. They don't have a bunch of other locations. Mm -hmm. This guy started this in 1995 when he was experimenting. And... It's this one. Yeah. This is the one right here. We're going to put it right out there. That's the one that he first brewed. You know that shit's good. In 1995. Look at it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, here it man. is. Um, we've done a lot of Oktoberfest, and I'm, I just can't wait anymore. No, I mean, just this dude, do it. Yeah. This dude has, has built this. Oh. Based on this. Holy shit. 
shit. I mean, this Good. guy knows what he's really? doing. For real? Oh my, wait till, this is, a, this Oktoberfest, I mean, I'm serious. They yeah, got great. Back in 1995? I mean, great what, 88, 88 was when free, I mean, I mean, come on, guys, this is, Oh, is that good? Goodness gracious. Is that good? So it's, um, yeah, it, it, there's not a lot of spices there, but there's something that, just no, it's, it's just, is it, good this going just down. says it's, weather's getting colder. Yeah. Uh, we need to don a sweatshirt, long pants, darken, get ready. Darken the beers up a little Winter's bit. Winter's coming. That's a great October. I'm going fest. to buy this to go. Yeah, maybe is, one of the best October. Fest this I've is had. it. No, that, it is. It one. is probably the best. I agree. This good. dude has been doing this a long time, and I mean, it, this is what they do. And when you walk in here, this is this is a craft brewery. Do you see how many beers they had on taps? Unbelievable! On tap? My God! And, and you walk in there, and there's two smiling uh, uh, bartenders. Yeah. That just they don't make you come outside and sit down and we'll no, bring it out. No, no. They know what That's you what want. That's what I'm saying. I hate that vibe. They've got, every, they've got sours. They've got seltzers. It is the best selection of any place that I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah. I love this place. Yeah. It's colorful. It's bright. It's, 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 it's And this was $9 and 50 cents. So on. it's also the least expensive. We so, far, so far, it, it, so far, I has been the most expensive. All right, we're gonna go to the uh, we're, we're gonna go to the Pilsner, which yeah. the only reason we get Pilsner is because of this guy, right? <laughs> I mean, it's the heritage. It's this one's got a bite to it, and that's really? why I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, I'm I'm gonna you like it. Mm -hmm. See, that's why all Pilsners aren't the same. Oh my God, that's a good Pilsner. The color is awesome for a pilsner. I mean, that I is, mean. I mean, if you if you watch any of these episodes before, we don't tell you about we're not connoisseurs and ambiance and smell and color and we just go. We're gonna drink this beer and we're gonna tell you what we think of it. And that's a that's damn a good, good pilsner. One. And and he's right. It's 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 hoppier, but it's not too much. No hop, aftertaste at all in either one of those. Mm. Man, that goes down smooth. Isn't that good? Yeah, it's really good. Whew. That that's really good. All right, so uh, the next one is our two. They, they had two IPAs. Well, they had more than that, but they had the hazy ones. But again, they, they had two West Coats. They had a a Strata hops and uh, another. I can't remember what the hops was, but they they had two of them that they very similar. And one was seven percent alcohol. The other was six point eight. This is the Strata one because I asked the barkeep. I said, "Hey, what is what is the best of those two? Yeah. I, I want the most West Coast that you got." And she said, "Boom!" And um, because their true West Coast IPA is coming out Thursday, yes, said, they're, they're real. Yeah, yeah. so I can't it's believe it. Release so so it's a new thing for them. That smells so good. Yeah, Confluence Brewing. I mean, it's about beer, and that's what's so good. You know, when when you it, when you compare like the Furious IPA from Summit or from uh, uh, Surly Surly in Minnesota, that's my go-to West Coast IPA that that you rate everyone from. and and yep. So far, that's hard to compare. I mean, I'm not going to compare that to that because it's in, impossible. But this this is a really no shit smooth. I mean, it's a smooth IPA. It's not bitter. It's um, it's really good. There is a bug in the beer, so you d might want to be careful about that. <laughs> what's what's with the bees and I don't and, know what the bugs the in is this town, but um, yeah, that's so weird. It wouldn't bother me to drink a bug because I've drank some. Oh wow, before. that is amazing. It's kind of danky. Which is good. You want you want kind of a danky taste. Yeah, because you yeah. taste that, but it's not. I don't like know. It might be the bug. bitter. No, that's that's a hoppy. 
It's good beer. Good blend, balanced. So I far, think. out of all the breweries Strata. we've we've uh, we've been to, there's only one beer that we haven't liked. Uh, they're yeah. making good beer here in Iowa. Um, they definitely are. Here we go. It's a pumpkin, dude. It's a pumpkin. I don't know if this is a pumpkin lager or a pumpkin ale. ale. Okay, it's a pumpkin. It's ale. an ale. Yep, it's an ale. It smells so good. You can only get this this time of year. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, no. strike one. <laughs> oh, strike two. That is, that is pathetic. Really? I wonder that what tastes, happened on you know, the you pumpkin. Know what they, I'll tell you what that tastes like. I'll tell you exactly what that tastes like. That tastes like squash. Really? That tastes like if you, if you, if you boil squash, you mash it up, you throw in a lot of butter, and you eat it, that's what that is. That's liquid squash. So he's he's doing so something's with the with his pumpkin. It's liquid squash, and, or liquid pumpkin. I mean, it's way too. It's 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 not. It doesn't oh, you're have, right. It doesn't have all the it other. Doesn't have the cinnamon. And yeah, the and the cloves and the, and the nutmeg clove. and it's a. It, 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 it's like it's true pumpkin. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. It's it's like you're it's like you're sucking a pumpkin. A pumpkin, like the juice is like. You, you want to suck a pumpkin? Like you uh, carve it and you take all that shit and you squeeze it and you get a juice. Put a straw in a pumpkin. Yeah, man, you got That's this. A, oh my god, is an aftertaste that. Ugh. I don't. I'm I feel like carving my face. I kind of. And like putting it. a candle in my head. That's what I feel like. Because it's the season. Right? Like, it's a bad beer. I don't know why I like it. <laughs> God, it's good to me. It's bad. I kind of like that pumpkin -y. No. I mean... No. It's not a bad one to me. So, Confluence continues to... Like, I could keep drinking that. I'm serious. Suck a pumpkin... Come to Confluence. God, it, I mean, but you better do it before Thanksgiving because it's probably will be gone. I bet it'll be gone soon. Yeah, and then um, mm. uh, this Oktoberfest is mine. The Oktoberfest is the best one out of all of these, I'd say. Mm. But no, man, I I I like it here. I like that it's because just the whole building looks like an old brewery. No, right? this, it looks like shipping docks used to I, be here, and like I don't you know, know what what there's what, a rail. His whole idea when he when he when he built this brewery was that he wanted he wanted quality ingredients coming together with good people and having fun and that's I think that's his slogan is where good friends come together and sample good beer and he certainly does that I mean this that is a seasonal sure. beer and 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 again I mean I just because he doesn't like I, I based I based my pumpkin beer on, on one one that I loved and you know you may not have that the southern tier pumpkin is the is the way that I base all pumpkin beers and so you're right if you want to suck a pumpkin there it is <laughs> it's not pumpkin pie ish it's not it's, it's a pumpkin it's a it, pumpkin. you know you you know you know what maybe I mean it's like hey it's it's fall. It's pumpkin. It's oh, I'm trying. I can't. Do it. I like. It. I can't do it. Hey, and these all these heaters out here are cool, man. They are. So this is a great place to go. You can tell that this is a year-round uh, patio. That they yeah, have this here. is all lit. They got all these lights. I am at night. impressed with cool. Des Moines, Iowa. And Me craft too. Beer. Me too. I'll tell you, if you are a craft beer lover, go come to Iowa. Come to Iowa. And we man. got a great hotel. Put Des Moines on your list. <laughs> we got a great hotel. A Marriott hotel for like seventy bucks a night. Come, Come on, on, you guys. Yeah, put this on your beer craft brewery list. Des Moines. It's and they have Bebops. Is that the name? Well, I don't know nothing about Bebops. Bebops. We're gonna find out. It's some burgers and fries shit. Yeah, yeah they got man, made right. Find out about it. Let's go. We're excited. So Confluence Brewery definitely two thumbs up. Get the Oktoberfest.